Hello, my name is Jared, and I just found a cool new Minecraft mod. It is called the Aether mod, and it is a it is a new dimension to Minecraft, which is a counterpart to the Nether. It's a sky world, but it's much more than that. It's also got cool new mobs, cool new blocks, and items, and dungeons. And these dungeons are much better than the dungeons in the regular world because they have different rooms with chests and enemies to fight. Then they've got a boss room where you have to beat a boss to get a key to unlock a locked chest which contains cool items that you can't spawn or get anywhere else in the game. Which is really, really cool. You can't even craft the items, but... Anyways, I'm going to show you how to install this uh, mod today, not because there's no good uh, videos on YouTube on how to install it, but because all videos for installing mods on YouTube require you to have an archive manager, like WinRAR or 7-Zip. And I don't have one of those. I don't really want to download it and waste space because I, I wouldn't use the archive man manager for anything other than this. So right now I'm going to show you where to get the mods that you will need. This is the Aether um, page, Aether mod page on the Minecraft forums, and I'll leave a link in the description to this page. And down here you'll see that the Aether mod requires Mod Loader, Audio Mod, and Shock API, and most mods need Mod Loader and uh, Audio Mod. So this is a good tutorial for how to uh, install those too, because we need to install those first. But anyway, we need to download them before we can install them. So click on Mod Loader, and you'll be redirected to this page. And scroll down, and you will find Mod Loader. And there's two download links. Click on one and download them. And if you scroll down even more, you'll find Audio Mod, uh, which we also need. So we're going to download. Uh, click on a download link and download it. I've already downloaded it, so you won't have to wait for my very annoying, uh, non-reliable internet connection to download it. So we're going to click on Shock API now to get this mod. And we're going to scroll down until we find this. And we're going to click Show and Download. And once you download it, you can go back to the other page. And right here is the download link for the actual Aether mod. So you're going to go ahead and want to download that too. Now here is too many items, and I'm going to install this because, uh, or so I can show you the mod without having to collect the items that I need. But uh, So anyways, this is also a good tutorial if you want to install too many items. So you're just going to click this download link and download it. And that's all we need for the internet, so we're going to close all these tabs. Now, if you've installed mods before, you're going to want to get a new Minecraft.jar folder, or file, because uh, these mods might not be compatible, and you, you'll probably get a bunch of problems if you try to install it. So you're just going to want a whole new copy of the Minecraft.jar. And to do that, you click on Options in the launcher, and you hit force update. If you've never installed a mod before, if you don't have a mod installed already, you probably won't need to do that. But what I did is I just deleted my whole .minecraft folder, which is the folder where all the where, where Minecraft saves all the stuff like your uh, worlds and your texture packs and stuff. So I'm going to uh, so I deleted that folder because I don't like to get my building worlds mixed up with my mod worlds, and I don't like to, I like to leave other uh, uh, folders uh, where I have other mods installed, so I can just go back to those mods easily by dropping them back into where they need to go. So I just deleted the whole folder, and I'm going to log in and get a new folder. Uh, what's my password? There it is. And remember the password. Login. And now it's downloading a whole new folder for me. And there we go. And we don't actually need to play it beyond that. So now, to find the... Actually, 
to find the folder it's in, uh, one thing you can do is log in, go to Mods and Texture Packs, and open the Texture Pack folder, which will uh, get you here. And you want to go up a folder to the .minecraft folder. And this is where we will be installing our mods. If you don't want to do that to find this folder every time, you can also find it uh, through uh, just by clicking on a bunch of folders. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that because it's not too bad. But in order to do that, you're going to need to turn on Show Hidden Files and Folders. And Windows 7 is really annoying because, or Windows in general is annoying because uh, it doesn't like to show a bunch of folders in, it hides a bunch of folders from you. For I guess Windows thinks you're stupid or something. I hate Windows so much. But anyways, in order to sh see all those hidden files and folders that Windows is hiding from you, you're going to want to go to Control Panel. You're going to go to Appearances and Personalization and click on it. Now, uh, down here you'll find uh, Folder Options, and underneath that you'll see Show Hidden Files and Folders, which is what we want, so we're going to click on it. Now down here you'll see two radio buttons. Uh, if it's up here on um, Don't Show Hidden Files and Folders, you'll need to change it by clicking here, Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Click Apply, click OK, and get rid of Control Panel, because we don't need that anymore. So to actually find it via the path, we're going to go open up Explorer. We're going to go to Local Disk, Users. You're going to click on the name of your computer, and then you're going to click on App Data, which is that hidden folder I was talking about, which is why it's grayed out. And you're going to go to Roaming, and here's .minecraft. Click on it, and here we are. Now, the minecraft.jar folder, which, or file, which is what we're going to be needing, is in the bin folder, and it's right down here. Now, you can't really do anything with this folder in Windows, which is why most people think you need an archive manager. Windows tries to yell at you if you double-click on it. However, a jar folder file is a Java archive file, and it is pretty much the same thing as a zip folder, except it relates to jar, and it uh, basically Java expects it to be named .jar. So when you uh, change it to a .zip, Windows is going to get all upset at you, saying the file is going to become unusable, and it's going to become unusable because Java accepts that, or Java expects that .jar file. But uh, we need access to the folders inside, so we're going to call it a zip, and now we can open it up. However, Windows is not a very good manager of .zip files, so we're going to extract all the files in the folder into a new folder. Because Windows is very annoying when it comes to managing .zip folders, which is another good reason for having an archive manager. <laughs> But again, I don't want to download another uh, another program that I don't really need. So we're going to minimize all of this because right now we need to open our um, we need to find our mods, and you're going to want to open a new Windows Explorer window and go to the folder where you downloaded your mods to, and I downloaded it to Downloads, so I'm going to head there. And now, the first mod we're going to install is Audio Mod. So we're going to open that up, and we're going to go back to the Minecraft folder that we made, which has all these files in it. And, well, really, the first thing you have to do before installing any mods is find this, whoops, find this meta-inf folder. And what you want to do with that is delete it. If you don't delete it, your mods won't work. Your Minecraft uh, <laughs> Minecraft won't work. Not sure why it has to be deleted, but it does. So we're going to highlight everything in the audio mod zip folder. Just highlight everything. And you're going to drag it over, except you want to make sure not to drag it to any one of these folders. You need to drag it to the Minecraft folder. So make sure it says copy to Minecraft before you let go. And this uh, window pops up. Uh, don't worry. This is normal. 
Basically, this folder already exists in Minecraft. However, we need to replace it. So we're going to hit, or not replace it, we need to merge it. So this is asking if you want to merge the folder, and we do, so we want to click yes. Now this file that we've dragged in also already exists. Now uh, we just want to copy and replace. So we're going to click copy and replace. So there, we just installed audio mod. Yay, now we need mod loader. So you're going to open up mod loader and your the zip folder, and you're going to highlight everything inside and just drag it. Make sure it says copy to Minecraft and not copy to mod or any of these other folders, and drop it. And we've got the same thing. We do want to copy and replace. However, Windows says we've got eight more conflicts, and we want to do the same thing to all of them. So we're just going to uh, check that box and hit copy and replace. And that fixes that. So now that we've installed both those mods, we need to still need to install Shock API. So we're going to double click on that. And we don't actually need everything in here. We're going to find the folder called bin and open it up. Now, everything in this bin folder, you're going to want to highlight and drag into the Minecraft folder. And we've got nine more conflicts with this one, so we're going to check that box and hit copy and replace. And that's it for the Shaka API mod. Now we're going to install the actual Aether mod, finally. So we're going to open that up. And we've got two folders here, jar and resources, and we're going to open up the jar folder. Now everything inside the jar folder you want to highlight and drag into your folder. You're going to... Now a window is going to pop up that's going to be the same as that earlier one asking if you want to merge the folders, and we do, so we click yes. And we're done. Now that is the Aether mod, so if you don't want to install the two... Or actually that's not quite the Aether mod yet, I almost forgot. You're going to open up that other, the bin uh, window you have left over, hopefully, and go to, click on, or go back to the dot .minecraft, uh, either click up a folder or click the dot .minecraft up there, and you're going to click on open up the resources folder. So now that we've opened up the resources folder, we see in the Aether mod, we've got a folder here called resources. So we're going to open that up, and there's a folder called mod, and you also want to open that up. Now you've got all these folders, and these folders you just want to drag and drop into the resources. And we're going to minimize that for now, because we won't need that yet. So now, <laughs> you've installed the Aether mod. And if you don't want to install the Too Many Items mod, then you're done. If you want to just install the Too Many Items mod, you basically uh, don't drag anything from any of these mods in, and just open up the uh, too many items.zip and drag everything into here, making sure not to drag it into any of these folders. And there's just one conflict, so we're just going to hit copy and replace. So yeah. So if you just want to install the too many items mod, you don't have to install any of these other mods. You just have to open up the zip and drag everything into this folder we created earlier. So we are done with uh, installing all of those mods, so we don't need this download folder, but there's still something left we've got to do.